off, seeing what Diane looks like, Jamie. But I'm not going like that. No. I'm not. My dad took me around all our land a few years back. He'd got it all. All the Douglas land and more. Damp patch by damp patch. Banff. Och. Aberdour. Murray. Straven. Stonehouse. Jesus, he took me round every wet, thistle sprout and rocky inch of it. He poked sheep and cattle we'd inherited from my dead cousins and uncles. And he laughed like a crow eating an eyeball at the fat arses on those beasts. <laughs> he was showing me how to be a rich man. Proving to me that we were rich men. And do you know what gets me? He'd been to Rome. Have you been to Rome, Jamie? No. Neither did I. Until you sent me there. I suppose you thought you were doing me a favour. There's a house. It's not a rich man's house. An ordinary wine merchant's house. A, an ordinary shop man's house that you ride past on your way into town. There's angels painted on the walls that look like a window into the next world. He's got peacocks in his yard. <laughs> I'm not joking. His kids are kicking peacocks eggs around his garden with angels watching over them. And I'm supposed to feel like a rich man coming home to another hundred wet sheep. What is the point? Tell me, what is the point in that? Because it seems to me that there is no point if you've got to do what another man tells you. So you can take my land, take all my money. You can have my property, go on. I'm a rich man, apparently, have the lot. You can take the head off my shoulders, Jamie. But you are never going to tell me what to do. All right. That is what it means to be a rich man in this country. <laughs>